How's it going ladies and gentlemen? My name is Danny Marshall. Welcome to my lovely video tutorial. Thanks for tuning in. Um, also welcome to my kitchen. I normally give, deliver tutorials to you guys um, in on the edit in front, the Adobe Premiere Pro 2017 to be spe more specific, but I've got something a little bit more practical for you today. People have been asking me recently um, how I pull off some of my uh, slider looking cinematic shots um, when I don't use a slider. Um, I find a slider quite cumbersome. I have used a slider in the past, you know, they're, they're a great kit, but when you want to keep things efficient and go on a shoot like a wedding and you want to travel light, um, you can achieve some of the some of those shots that you get with a slider using just a monopod and anything else, if it's too extravagant, it's gonna to take too much time to set up and you wanna you know, be very efficient with your shooting methods and keep things, you know, keep things simple. And also we've been discussing the notion that uh, some of the more sophisticated um, uh, electronic gimbal systems that are out there on the market and that some of them are getting absolutely fantastic um, might even replace the conventional sliders uh, and, and the slider could be, be a relic of, uh, of ancient times, you know, in terms of filmmaking. So, um, so today I'm gonna show with you what I can achieve with my slider. I said slider, not slider, it's a monopod. So I'm gonna show with you my mo how to use a monopod to replicate what you can do with a slider and some of those basic movements. So this is my monopod, um, it served me well. It's about a year old. Um, it extends up to about five and a half feet with the, with the clamps. Step number one, we just need to adjust the foot of the monopod by the, using this screw here, a little bit squeaky. Need some WD-40 on there, get some oil. And that will allow um, a lot of roll rotation on this uh, ball and socket joint that we've got on the foot of our monopod, like so. Step number two, need to adjust both of these on our monopod header. You may have also noticed that I've removed the lever from uh, the monopod head. Um, that's because you don't need it. What do you, what do you need that lever for, really? Um, you know, you hold on to your you hold on to your camera. So you hold on to the, to your camera grip like this, um, and you're always going to have that there. So why why do you need why do you need a lever there? That's just that's just extra extra weight in your bag, right? Use your camera grip, and there it is. Like, that becomes your new lever. Makes sense to me. Don't know about you, let me know what you think. But hey, um, so yeah, so the next thing we need to do is we need to adjust these two um, to make sure, uh, make sure it's very, very loose, you know, lots of play, very, very fluid movement, like so. And step number three, we need to make sure that our quick release plate is facing 90 degrees and not facing forward, it's on a 90 degrees angle. So, so I'll just do that now. So yeah, so you've got the head of your, head of your monopod and your quick release plate attached to a 90 degree angle. Um, slot that back onto your monopod. So let's go get some of those cinematic slider shots with just a monopod. So just uh, set your monopod to the desired height, compose your shot. And all you want to do, make sure that you're loosened off on your head. And all you want to do is just some left to right movements, making sure that the monopod doesn't go up or down. So it can go from right, that's all the way to the right. It's just kind of seesawing and we can push it to the left. And with a little bit of pan also. And that's all the way to the left. So again, Nice and easy. We don't need to go super fast. So what about if you want to do a push in or a pull out using the same technique? All you do is just turn your camera around from the 90 degree position back to the original, the original position. Best if we take our camera off the monopod, right? Reset your quick release plate to its original forward facing position. Set it back to its original forward facing position like so. Lock it in place. Put your camera back on the top, obviously. Make sure it's locked in nice and tight. And you're ready to go with your push-ins and pull-outs. Okay, so here comes another example. Remember, again, keep your foot on the, keep your foot down, press down hard. 
stop the monopod from going anywhere. And here comes a push in and a pull out. So try and use your rule of thirds as targets or crosshairs um, when you're pulling in or, and pulling out and that's gonna help keeping it stable. Don't go too fast. You don't need to go too fast with these types of shots. So. Beautiful. And again, just a touch of warp stabilizer in post is just gonna help keep that shot perfectly smooth. So that's that. Obviously it doesn't cover much in the way of uh, a tilt up and down while you're sliding. Um, I'll cover that in another tutorial. There's no right way or wrong way. Um, it's, it's about how you can apply your tools to get the results that look good for you. It's all about making your equipment work for you. Um, and I like this. It saves me transporting around, you know, a hefty slider with me all the time. It, that would be uh, quite uh, cumbersome, in my opinion. So thank you for watching the tutorial. I've been Danny Marshall. And um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you love the video, consider subscribing. Thank you very much.